kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Kitty cats back in time. One day, Grandpa and the kittens set out to explore a cave. Long ago in prehistoric times, ancient cats didn't build houses like us. Instead, they lived in caves just like this one. <laughs> Don't you worry. We've got flashlights and helmets to protect our heads. They're really strong. Yay, this is amazing. We look like real cave explorers. <laughs> so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The cave turned out to be quite dark, but very exciting. Hey, hey. Hi. <laughs> Grandpa, will you tell us about the ancient cats? Sure. They lived in caves just like this one. They wore simple clothes, and they didn't have flashlights or electricity or central heating, so they would gather around fires. <laughs> oh, wow! I've wanted to find traces of ancient cats since I was small, but I never could find any. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, oh. It's a shame that Grandpa never found what he always dreamed he would. Hey, you guys, why don't we help him? How? Grandpa! What, Cookie? Look here. I just found some paw prints. Is it possible ancient cats could have left these? <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, these are your own footprints. Huh, you're right. What other kinds of things did ancient cats leave behind? Well, I suppose it could be anything, really, Cookie. Not just footprints, but objects and paintings on the cave walls sometimes. Mm. Uh, my grandpa, I think I found an ancient candy wrapper. An ancient cat must have dropped it a long time ago, like maybe a hundred gajillion and sixty-five years. <laughs> Don't think that's ancient. Ancient cats only ate things like mushrooms, berries, and fish. They didn't have any candy back then. Oh, no? Let's pick up the wrapper in any case. Look what I found. I think an ancient cat must have drawn this picture. It's a wall painting like you said they used to make. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a really wonderful drawing, but it wasn't painted by any ancient cats. But how can you tell that it's not? There's one detail that gives it away. There were no airplanes back then. Aww. Please don't feel bad, kittens. Thank you for trying to help me find the ancient cat traces I've always dreamt of. Hmm? Hello? Lunch is ready. Please head back home. All right. Be back soon. That was your mommy telling us it's time to head home. She has your lunch ready. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's more than one path. Which one do we need to take? Oh, oh no. We're all lost in here. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, Pudding. We'll figure out how to handle this problem. I have a really good idea. Remember Cookie's footprints? We can follow our footprints back. Good thinking, Candy. You're a real cave explorer. Grandpa and the kittens headed to the cave's exit. I'm sorry you didn't find any evidence of ancient cats, Grandpa. But we had a real honest-to-goodness adventure. Let me get a picture of my brave fellow adventurers. Uh, move right. A little more. So the bat family's in the shot, too. Smile big now. Oh. Oh. Kittens, look! We found an actual wall painting done by ancient cats long ago. How can I never have noticed it before? You never had anyone with you before that you wanted to take a picture of. Look at that. It's kind of like the ancient cats are trying to wave at us. Hi there! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their grandpa kept their eyes wide open that day in the cave, and by noticing every detail, they eventually found what they were looking for. Bo's Marvelous Play. One day, Bo invited the kittens and mustard to his house to watch a play he had written. I present a great spectacle, Beauty and the Marvelous Violin. Will this be a real play like with actors and props? And scenery and everything? And music too? It's got all those things and music too. And guess what? I'm going to do everything and it will be really great. 
so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <sighs> I really hope it will be super fun because I so get super sleepy after lunch. <sighs> I'm the prince of this faraway country, and I have a marvelous violin whose music always makes people happy. Now, where's that cardboard sword I made? Oops. That violin doesn't make me happy. I am the wicked underground king, and I hate that music so much. Oh, no! Underground king wants to destroy my marvelous violin. I shall hide in the woods. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's tricky handling all this stuff on my own. I could help you with all the scenery and props if you want. It'd be much easier if I did. Mm-hmm. This sure is a scary forest! My whole tail is covered in goosebumps! Oh! Huh? It isn't time for this music to be played yet! This scene is supposed to feel scary. That fun music didn't feel scary. Well, I could be in charge of turning the music on and off if it would help. Mm. Mm hmm. Lovely damsel has been asleep for a hundred years. Ooh. But I will wake her up with my marvelous violin. Oh, in my whole life I have never heard such wonderful music. <laughs> never again. I'll chop the violin in two. It will be silenced forever. No, evil king, I will stop you. <laughs> You'll never beat me! We'll soon see! Ah! Uh, let's just all be friends, guys. Only if he promises not to touch my violin! No way! I hate music! Just wait for a second. I'm really confused right now. Who's the bad guy? Who's the good guy? Oh, boy. I wanted the play to be brilliant, and instead it's a disaster. I'm a terrible actor. You're a great actor, but you're playing too many parts at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I wish there were more of me. Then I could do everything myself. No, no, no. I know what we need to do. Cookie, would you play the role of the evil underground king? Oh, yes. I've always wanted a chance to try acting. Sleepy Mustard, huh? would you play the part of the Sleeping Beauty? A beauty? Yes, I can do that. <sighs> as well as sleeping, for sure. Phew. and his company of kittens put on a marvelous show because everything is better when you do it with friends. The Sweet Truth One day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This part is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I've prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Um. Mm. 
Mm. It's so great! <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm? Hmm, 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 hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain-looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels! All flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey. Hot and so fresh. I mm -hmm. got it! We just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. Mm. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies! Great cookies! Come and try some great cookies! Hi there! Hey, hey guys! You've got to try the cookies our dad made. Sure we will. But first I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops. And cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey! You guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? Did, Did you say something, something super awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> the magic cookie from Kitty Cats! Try one now! Oh, wow! We want your cookies! Hey, my cookie isn't working! I'm still on the ground! I should be flying by now! Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all! Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie! Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever true. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are the Well, let's get this over with. Mm. These cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Hide and seek, kitties. One day, the kittens decided to have a game of hide-and-seek. We can hide anywhere in the house except for the basement, all right? Deal, let's do it. Who's the first seeker? Well, I don't want to be it. Me either. Uh, whew. That was a hard day. <sighs> hey, play hide-and-seek with us, Daddy. Do play with us, Daddy. Pretty please with hugs, Daddy. Uh, but, oh sure, I'll play. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! One, two, three, four, five. Okay then, ready or not, here Daddy comes, kittens. Who do we have under here? <laughs> <laughs> I found candy. <laughs> And this is pudding! <laughs> Looky, it's cookie! Yay! Let's play again! Oh. 
Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. Counting one, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Grandma, hello there. Oh, my daddy's too tired to be it again. Can we swap for a little while? How about you three seek, and I'll hide. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ready or not, here we come. Let's go and look behind the couch. I bet he's hiding there. Nope. Maybe he's hiding in the wardrobe. <laughs> he's not here either. She's right, he's not here. The kittens looked in every room, but they couldn't find Daddy. Well, maybe Daddy got hungry and then hid in the refrigerator. <laughs> but Daddy would freeze if you were in a fridge oh. for so long. Oh. Maybe he's in the washing machine. <gasps> Mommy's about to do laundry. Huh? <laughs> Mommy, don't turn it on. <laughs> Daddy might be hiding in there. There's no need to worry, kittens. I assure you it was completely empty when I put the laundry into it. Now what? Daddy wasn't in there either. We were playing hide and seek, but we can't find Daddy at all. Hmm. Well, maybe he's in the basement. We agreed before we started we wouldn't hide in the basement. But we forgot to tell Daddy that rule when he joined in. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry. Guess I was having a little snooze. Poor dear. You must be exhausted after your long work day. Oh, the three of us never really thought about that. That's right. We bugged him to play with us the moment he got home. I have a really good idea. We need to let Daddy rest for a little while and only ask him to play after that. Daddy, why don't you lay on the couch and rest for a while? <laughs> I've already had a nice snooze, and now I'm ready to play hide and seek. Awesome! Wow! Me wow! Me wow! Me wow! Mommy's gonna be it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, ready or not, here comes Mommy. The kittens had the most fun hiding and seeking when everyone in the family was rested and in the mood to play. Ghosts. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> 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 Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost. <laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Be afraid, Candy. Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? Oh, 
doing things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts. But not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here! Cookie and pudding? Were you pretending to be ghosts this whole time? That's right. Oh, admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice, clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, uh, huh? uh, 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 it's uh, a real uh, ghost! Uh, <laughs> Oh, my kitty, I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? Daddy! Oh, <laughs> I think these old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! <laughs> and that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right, we'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun time. So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! He wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelts won't hold you in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that is very not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> 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 Happy pieces for the picture album. I didn't huh? find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little, then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> 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 ah that spider's just made of plastic. 
And that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> and now for the picture! Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> My phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the huh? traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Yeah. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Oh. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. Haha, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. Winter fun with Daddy. One winter's day, Daddy decided to bring the kitty cats to a park for some fun sledding on the snowy slopes. We'll have a great time playing in the snow with Daddy. <laughs> wow, this is great. We can do whatever we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, two things. Listen when I tell you something, and we have to be home by lunchtime. Wow! There were so many slopes, they didn't know which one to choose. I want to ride huh? down this one. I want to go on uh, that one. Oh. No, that one over there. Uh, well, now, kittens, we can only stay for a few hours. Come on, we have to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, time flies when you're having fun. Uh. <laughs> kittens, no taking naps in the snow. <laughs> Okay, well, it's time we headed home. Aww. But we haven't even had a chance to slide down the biggest slope. <laughs> well, I suppose we can do one more run. To get to the top of the highest slope, Daddy and the kittens needed to ride a special lift. Wowee! Oh, cool! Oh. Okay, keep your scarf on. It, it's windy up here. But, Dad, I'm really hot. And plus, there's no wind here at all. Whoa! Aww. That wouldn't happen if you'd listen to me. Now we have to go rescue your scarf. <laughs> well, hurry Ooh. up. Hey, I wonder, if I fall into a snow pile down there, will I turn into a big snowball? <laughs> oh, I be really fun. Oh, I wonder how far down you can ride this slope. Oh, yeah. Remember, we don't have a lot of time. And now we must rescue Cookie Scarf from the tree. Uh -huh. now don't shake the tree or you'll get covered with snow. <laughs> <laughs> I did tell you that would happen. <laughs> uh -huh. Now we need to head home, yes? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? 
The kittens wanted to go for one more ride. The three of you promise we'll leave right after this? Sure, Daddy. But then the snow started falling. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder which one of these snow piles is our car. We really need to get out of here. <laughs> this one is green. It's not ours. This one's blue. Not ours. It's red. Hey, everyone, I think I found our car. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for digging my car out of that mountain of snow. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so tired and cold, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Me too, Pudding. None of this would have happened if we listened to Daddy in the first place. <laughs> it's great that you understand that, kittens. But right now we need to solve the witch's our car mystery. I have a really good idea. Daddy should click the beeper on his key. <laughs> I guess I should have thought of that in the first place. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> well, let's dig our car out of the snow and head home. Mommy's expecting us. By listening to Daddy and working together, the kittens made it back for lunch with Mommy, happy and excited to be home after a morning on the slopes. Hockey. One day, the kitty cats decided to play ice hockey. So, we'll have Dart be the goalie, and I'm going to be center. I'll be a defender cat. And I'll probably only be in the way. Why would you say that, dear? I'm not good at playing team sports. Remember when we played soccer? Ah! <laughs> hey, Pudding, catch! <laughs> wow, thank you! <laughs> and remember when I tried volleyball? <laughs> uh, 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 we need to play as well. Pudding, you have to pass the ball to one of us. I'm perfectly sure that this time Pudding will play the game very well. I'll come with you and cheer really loud like a cheerleader. <gasps> so, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sports. It's better for everyone if I don't even try to play. My darling kitten, don't be so sad. <laughs> Come on, remember you're a really great chess player, just like your mom. We are a two-cat chess team. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Hey! I think from now on, I should only play sports I feel confident at. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Huh? 
Oh, wow. Those are some amazing reflexes. You'd be a perfect goalie, Pudding. I have a really good idea. Pudding took the place of goalie, and Dart was happy, as he wanted to chase the puck anyway. Thanks, guys. I feel really confident as the goalie, too. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Everyone has a place on a team. You just have to find the spot that feels right for you. Following instructions. One day, Grandma was cleaning out a room for the kittens to have sleepovers at her house. My dear lovely kittens, your new bedroom is virtually ready. All that's left is to build your beds. They'll be so comfy. Well, that is, as soon as I figure out how to assemble them. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Where's the pirate ship you bought for us, Daddy? Ahoy, here it is. But I think I left the instruction manual in the trunk. Uh, look, got it! Huh? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, there are a lot of parts in that one. It should take a long time. Piece of cake. We'll make the pirate ship super quick. And then we can go down and sail it on your pond. Wonderful. And while all of you are busy assembling ships and beds, I will go cook our dinner. Hey, Pudding, can you tell me what this says? Uh... Take part A and connect it with part B. Then insert part C straight into part D. Huh? I didn't understand a single word of that. Hmm. <laughs> we can put the ship together using our imagination. Imagine that this is part of the pirate ship's deck. This looks like the steering wheel. And right here is the pirate flag. The kittens are sure that they can build a great ship. Aww. I guess we need the instructions after all. I'll go and get them out of the trash bin. But those instructions are so long. I'll be 100 years old before I'm done with them. I think we should try being logical. Meaning what? I'll explain. There's a lot of these small planks. They probably form the deck. It's only logical, right? They probably go up on top of these bow-shaped parts. That's logical too, isn't it? Doesn't, Doesn't look logical. logical. So, I guess it's time to get the instructions out of the trash bin. All right. All right. in this garbage can? I sorted them into the recycling bins so the garbage men could cart them off. <laughs> no! Oh! oh, why'd I have to throw the instructions out? Oh, we'll never be able to find them now. Oh, it wouldn't be with the glass recycling. Instructions are made of paper. It should be in with the paper recycling, which hasn't been emptied out yet. Thank you very much, Grandma. This time around, the kitty cats did everything just as the instructions told them to. It still didn't work with the instructions. What's going on? I have a really good idea. Let's ask Daddy to help us put the pirate ship together. Daddy was still hard at work assembling the kittens' beds. <laughs> Oh. It looks like Daddy needs just as much help as us. Daddy, are you sure you're following the instructions? Well, I did look them over. Uh, I just laid them aside. Uh, I thought I could build it on my own. So, uh, uh, mast and uh, uh, anchor and uh, uh, steering wheel. Oh, kitten dears, may I have a look at your instruction manual? 
Well, I figured out the problem. You got your instructions mixed up somehow. Right here are the pirate ship instructions, and here are the ones for the beds. Well, look at that. <laughs> uh. Well, I don't think you'll have any more problems now. So awesome! Wow, me, wow, me, wow, me, wow! It can be fun imagining or trying to figure out things for yourself. Following the instructions usually makes the job much easier. Inventing an invention. One day, the kittens were walking past their friend Dart's house. Huh? Hi, Hi there. there! Hi there. Hello, Dart. We're headed to the park. Do you want to come? I can't. I've been trying to invent something useful, but unfortunately, I'm finding it really tricky. We can help you with your problem. A bunch of heads are better than one. Together we would have one, two, three, four heads. We'll, we'll help, help you. you. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. A good invention needs to be really useful. Huh, could we make an invention that would do all my teeth brushing for me? <laughs> Hey, my teeth are up here. Whoa. <laughs> mm, it's probably a little easier to just brush your own teeth. You're right. How about a boiled onion detector? Which would tell you if what you're eating has any onions in it. Onions are so yucky, they must be stopped. <laughs> Huh? Onions detected. Uh, onions detected. Uh, run for your life! There are onions in the soup! Uh, you could just ask if there are any onions in your dinner. You're right, it would. What about a machine that would help you with deciding things? Hmm, which one should I wear? <laughs> inventions like that, everybody would just stop thinking for themselves. Darling, have a great day. I'm off to work. Uh, oh my. Did you pick this outfit yourself, dear? <laughs> nah, this thing does all my thinking for me. Oh, yeah, bad idea. What about a machine that takes your hat off? Uh, or one that'll knock on a door? Or fluff up pillows? Or, or, ah. Uh... We've got nothing good. See what I mean? I've been trying to invent a useful invention all day and not a thing. I have a really good idea. We need to go for a walk. Mommy always says if you're stuck on something, you should take huh? a break and go for a nice walk. You're right. What Dart needs is some fresh air and sunshine. Ah. The kittens had lots of fun at the playground. Dark didn't think about inventing his invention the whole time. <laughs> it's really good we decided to take a break. It's a beautiful day. Oh, Eureka! Huh? Taking a break! I think I have my invention. The next day, Dart invited the kittens over to show off his useful invention. My super useful invention will remind you to take breaks regularly. Wow, wow great. great! When the alarm sounds, that means it's time for a break. The arrow picks a fun thing to do while you take the break. Like riding a bike. That's brilliant! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to his friends, the kitty cats, Dart found out that it's great to take a break if you're stuck on something. Especially if you'd like to invent an amazing invention.
A Night in a Forest One day, Mommy and Daddy woke the kittens up very early in the morning. Time to rise and shine, kittens. Today we're driving to a big nature reserve where we're camping out tonight. Camping? For real? Are we sleeping in a tent? Will we cook on a campfire? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The nature reserve had special spots for camping. Well, no free spots here. Let's drive a bit further. Oh, looks like this one's full as well. After driving around the nature reserve for an hour, Daddy still couldn't find a free camping spot. Are we ever gonna get there? I'm so tired. Me too, and I'm very hungry. And uh... I'm thirsty. Try to be patient, kittens. We'll drive a bit further into the reserve and find a perfectly lovely campsite. The trees are whizzing by really fast. Uh. Uh, well, the trees have stopped whizzing. We'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives. Uh. Now, don't give up, kittens. Everything's uh. going to be all right. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I'll go and gather some firewood while you help your father with putting the tent up. I think I forgot to pack the pegs for the tent. We need them to hold the tent in place. If the tent won't work, will we have to just sleep out on the cold, hard ground? What if it rains? <gasps> then we can all sleep in the car. Uh, uh, It'd be pretty cramped. Uh, yeah, but in the car, at least we'd be safe from all the scary forest creatures. There's lots of mosquitoes around, too. <laughs> nope, I do not want to spend the night in these woods. Neither do I. Daddy, please get Mom. We want to go home. Yeah, home isn't full of big mosquitoes. Or other scary forest beasts. <laughs> Relax, kittens. We're in a special nature reserve. No scary creatures live in this forest. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A scary forest creature! <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> kittens, your scary forest creature is Mommy. <laughs> Goodness, Daddy's so very funny. I have been gathering dry twigs for our campfire. They weren't easy to find, but I kept on till I found them. Mommy just delivered a solution to our little tent problem. I've got a really good idea. We should all help fix the tent together and we'll have a super night sleeping in the woods. Soon, the kittens forgot all about their fears and started to have a lovely time in the outdoors. Um, mm. Kittens, it's time for bed. Good, Good night, night, Mommy. Good night, Good night kittens. kittens. Move over a bit. Ah, uh, there are mosquitoes in here. And they are hungry for us creatures. They're pretty big, too. Good thing I brought the anti-scary forest creature spray. <laughs> ah, so awesome. Once the kittens settled down and dug in to help out, they had a wonderful time camping. Hmm. Renovations. One day, Mommy and Daddy brought home some wallpaper and buckets of paint. Mommy, Daddy, what are you doing with all those things? Daddy and I have decided we're going to finish the attic. We'll make it all nice and cozy. The attic, really? You mean that we're going to have a new room in the house? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hey, we can use the attic room for chess tournaments! <laughs> or dance parties!
parties. Oh, we can play so many games up there. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look at the new room. <laughs> Huh? It's still the same as before. Cookie, we only just started. First we figure out the plans, then we prepare them. I suggest we bring everything up from the basement so we don't have to run up and down the stairs every time. That's excellent thinking, darling. Little ones, remember to be careful when you go back down the stairs. It looks like we won't have a new room for a long time. Let's help Mommy and Daddy put up the wallpaper. If we hurry, we can do it all before they get back upstairs. Yeah, let's. It doesn't look very hard at all. Well, you're on a roll. Let me give you some help with that. There! It's not rolled up anymore. It's flat. Now we can stick it to the wall. Uh, oh! Oh, I accidentally splashed this glue everywhere, and now the floor's been wallpapered. Maybe I can pull some of it up? Oh! Uh. Oh, oh, oh. These silly, sticky things are way more trouble than they're worth. Oh. Well, what if we just used paint on the walls? Yeah, let's. I'm pretty sure we could handle that. Oh. What is happening up here? Mommy, Daddy, we're so sorry. We just thought that we could help speed everything up. We just really wanted to help out. But it really didn't turn out that great. <laughs> Thank you for trying to help, my darlings. But you know, renovations are really tricky. All the preparation is hard, even for us grown-ups. Mommy and I know this very well. It's not our first renovation. I've got a really good idea. If you can teach us how to do all of this, then we can help you. That's a good idea, Candy. But first, you need renovations of your own. Huh? You're all taking a bath right now. After their bath, the kittens help their parents to renovate the attic. that. I thought it was going to take much longer to get all this done. It's all thanks to our students here. Because of your help, we finished much sooner than we expected. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Hmm, but it still sort of feels like there's something missing. Oh, and what's that, oh? darling? Oh. Daddy messed up the wallpaper! Oh, no. Now I know what it still needs. Some lovely kitty oh. cat paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the kittens help their parents with renovations and turn the attic into a cozy room for the whole family. Kitty clothes. One day, Mommy was working on her new line of clothes for kittens and ran out of fabric. Kittens, I need to run to the store. If you do need something while I'm gone, ask Daddy in his office. Okay, okay we, we will, will, Mommy. I can't wait to see all of the cool clothes Mommy's working on. Why don't we take a look? They're right there in her office. <laughs> hey, it's a kitten-shaped doll, mm. except it doesn't have a head. That's Mommy's catechin. It's a special model shaped like a real kitten to help Mommy make sure the clothes she makes will fit nicely. The coat on the drawing on the wall looks pretty nice, but the one on the catechin here doesn't. Oh, poor Mommy. She had so much to do that she didn't have the time to finish it. Hey, why don't we help her? Let's do it. We'll help make Mommy's coat the best kitten coat ever. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! We need to add 
some pockets and a collar. Cookie, bring us some glue. I will draw the collar and the pockets. After that, pudding, you can cut them out. Try it, but I don't think I can pull off that walk the real models do. Ouch, I can't see anything through this collar. Looks a little bit too high. It really shouldn't cover up your eyes and mouth. We could cut some slits for his mouth and his eyes. I'd only be able to see what's right in front of me, though. What if I needed to look in a direction other than straight ahead? We don't need to cut holes at all. We can just fold the collar down. Cool, good. Yeah, that feels a lot better. Uh, except, uh, I can't get my paws into any of the pockets, though. Oh, that's probably because we kind of glued them shut. That's all right. They still make really pretty decorations. We can also glue some pretty buttons onto it and make it the prettiest coat ever. <laughs> The kittens were so enthusiastic that they covered the whole coat with buttons without even noticing it. Oh boy, now it feels like it weighs a ton. I can't even lift my paws up. I guess it'd be all right to remove a few of the buttons. Oh no, now it's covered in glue, which doesn't make it look pretty at all. What if we covered up the glue with ribbons? <laughs> That is way better! Come on, Pudding, let's see your walk. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, I can't walk in this thing. <laughs> Kittens, what are all of you doing here in my office? And where's the coat that was on the catechin? Mommy, I'm wearing it. We decided to try and finish it. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mommy. mommy. <laughs> Don't worry, my darlings. That was actually just a practice coat to try things out. I'll make the real thing with this fabric I just bought. And if you would like to help me out, you are all very welcome. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If you practice, or at least that's what they say. And we're learning that the fact is, if you work hard every day, oh, you just won't believe all the things you can achieve. Do your best, let them see all you can be. The new coat turned out to be awesome, and the kitty cats were really happy that they got to help their mommy. <laughs> Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. Mommy. Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores uh, I asked you to do? Uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rocks oh, for us. Could do many other things. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I think I'll do, kittens? <laughs> Look at the carefree cat. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Daddy ordered the carefree cat system, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree cat is ready for use. <laughs> so, carefree cat, turn on your cleaning mode. What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight and unlock the doors to let them in. 
Now, Carefree Cat, turn on your laundry setting. Daddy and the kittens like the Carefree Cat very much. Ah. But then, something went wrong. Trash on the floor. Come in, please. Stop! My puzzle pieces! Laundry is done. Please remove your items. <laughs> It washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together. Let me in! Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie! Pudding too. Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet. <laughs> <laughs> This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> well, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy.